about Seacat, right? They're running really late. We're not going to make her take off. Their patients are pretty bad. They just loaded them in the ambulance and they're on their way. Every, every second counts. I mean, when the soldier's out there, every second absolutely counts. I can tell you all my guys, they're fatigued, but it's the mission. It's, it's knowing that the guy on the ground out there, or gal on the ground, is waiting for us, keeps us going. As soon as you get him put back, let's get these CCAT guys loaded. And, and it's tough because we can't save them all, and we haven't saved them all. Like entering into the gates of hell. So you see nothing but blood and glass and, and flames shooting over you. Life-saving, fast-breaking series of events begins with an urgent 9090 call into this corner of the Bagram Airfield where the rescue helicopters are based. Within 10 minutes, the crews are in the air, two choppers flying very quickly, usually over the mountains, to rescue an injured soldier. We're all going to be hearing a lot about post-traumatic stress in the years to come. In this preview, you meet a Jensen Beach mother whose personal tragedy has made her an advocate for the broad spectrum of people touched by the unseen ravages of war. On a windswept space of green and white, Ginny Luther cradles son Bart Fletcher's first cavalry headgear and talks about the young man, a fellow soldier, who took her son's life. There's no question in my mind that he had PTSD. There's absolutely no question in my mind. This is a WXEL special report, Election 2012. Hello everyone and welcome to the WXEL TV studios. I'm Laurel Sauer, WXEL TV, and this is a special presentation, Election 2012. Well, the debate to me was a disservice to the voters, first mm -hmm. and foremost. I mean, that back and forth that they mm -hmm. did, it was like that for most of the debate. I agree. Uh, but. Those statements that we just watched were true, but they were half-truths. Let's talk a little bit about Bobby Darren. Do we have to <laughs> my heart, I, I, yeah, I know, but he, you know, when you look at pictures of the two of you, you were so in love. You're the top. You're the Coliseum. You're the top. You're the Louvre Museum. We went alone for one night. I, he didn't realize the danger that was like life threatening. He didn't realize that. Because of your father? Yeah, he saw like a picket fence, you know. I was w envisioning our funeral. Mm -hmm. He didn't realize how serious that was. Because your dad was so strict. Yeah. It was strict it would have killed him. Any chance of the funding being reinstated, restored? We've got to get a return on all those dollars. And so what they were showing, they, what they explained to me last night, uh, I haven't seen the numbers yet, but there is a return. Mm -hmm. There is, there, there is a, um, there's value in it for taxpayers, because that's my responsibility to taxpayers. Right. And so I think it's, I think right now there's funding. I think the funding is different a little bit, but not much in both the House and the Senate budget. What was the not most the unexpected next. thing that happened when you were on the air? For you. Oh, Brando kissing Brando. me. I was, that was really out of nowhere. I love Marlon. And when he kissed me on the lips, that was... Hi, I'm Steve Bogart. And with the elections heating up, Hollywood, of course, answers with a movie. It's The Campaign, starring Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis, with good support from Dylan McDermott and Saturday Night Live alum Jason Sudeikis. It's a comedy for a while. How's my hair? Strong. So strong. My hair could lift a car off a baby if it had to. The Bogart rating for the campaign, out of a possible five, this loser gets a two and a half. My classic pick of the week is Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Of course, starring my father, directed by John Huston, and co-starring his father, Walter, along with Tim Holt. Gold and stuff ain't good for nothing except making jewelry with gold teeth. <laughs> ah, gold's a devilish sort of a thing anyway. You start out, you tell yourself you'll be satisfied with 25,000 handsome smaggers worth of it. Now it's time for Bogart's blog. Did you ever wonder how some of these movies get made? There's actually someone who gets paid a lot of money to look at a script and decide, yep, this is going to be great. A script that you, my learned audience, would say has no shot at being anything but bad. Jim and Jupiter ask, what's more important, the director or the actor? Well, this is a team game. And all you have to do is look at my mother Lauren Bacall's movie, The Fan. The director destroyed it by cut, 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 cut. It's unwatchable. If you have a question or a comment, you can email it to me at stevebogart at wxcl.org or on my Facebook page. Well, that's the show for this week. 
Here's a look at some of the things we'll be talking about next week on Bogart on Movies. This year, PBS programs won 33 Emmy Awards, more than any other network. Our shows open doors to new worlds and new ideas, and you make them possible with your support. What if television took risks? What if it gave pioneers the chance to create something completely new? and helped everyone see the world in a whole new way. For over 40 years, PBS stations have pushed the boundaries of media by asking questions no one else asks. What if media could improve the way your children learn? What if great art flowed freely into every living room? It's the questions we ask that help open new worlds and new possibilities for every American. Support your PBS station and the pioneers who never stop asking, what if? According to your family's history, you're about as American as American can get. Steve Jobs had such an impact on our world. That's all ahead on tonight's news hour. They're all chanting, freedom, freedom. Forward! Do you find the prisoner guilty or not guilty? <laughs> this for the world. Make Wednesdays your destination for exploration. First, nature explores the bond between male and female ducks as they raise and protect their brood. Next, on Nova, follow the rover Curiosity's daring mission to Mars. If any one thing doesn't work just right, it's game over. Then, Nova Science Now asks, what will the future be like? He may be short, but he walks! This Wednesday, PBS is your destination for exploration. They believed they could face any hardship, weather any storm, but nothing could prepare them for this. From Ken Burns, an epic saga of land scarred, dreams buried, and hopes reborn, the Dust Bowl.
look at me and be happy. Don't 